questions, people? Um, I'm confused of when you said your thumb isn't the main finger when you're doing chords, it's the second finger, mm -hmm. is what you said? Mm -hmm. So, can you explain that more to me? Sure. Um, you know, our thumb is the brain, the mm -hmm. brain of the hand, but there's a lot of emphasis put on the thumb, you know, ba da 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 ba da And so many of our melodies, you know, are start, the thumb is the melody line, right? And uh, so we overemphasize. And in the process of, over, of doing that, our second finger gets weaker and weaker. And I was just talking to Tegan, we were working this morning, and about that very subject that um, because the second is next to the thumb, we're, we're headed this direction. If we're doing something, we're headed this direction so that the second finger tends to get overlooked. And over time, it gets weak because the thumb is dominant. And when it comes to chords, the, the tendency, we have a chord, you know, I'm trying to think of a chord that would be appropriate, I can't at the moment, but where we go, we head to the thumb instead of, if we go to the second, what happens is you have space between two and one. You're opening up the space because you're thinking, I'm going to go to the second finger, not the thumb, and then what happens, the thumb has a beautiful ring to it. It's not that the thumb isn't there, but it's just that the emphasis is not on that's necessary, but, but when it comes to tension in the hand, there's far less if you head for this well, combination of not landing all four at once, coming down. So here, that opening chord, the left hand of the 4A, I have one and three. For me, is what I start with. As I come down, I get the other two. Okay? So it just separates those two enough that you hear the whole, same thing with the right hand. You hear the whole chord, and you actually hear the beauty of the thumb instead of, you know, because you haven't cut the second finger off. And the most important thing, or equal to that, is, is um, it's very relaxed. You just feel very relaxed when you're playing it. And, and it hopefully comes out sounding that way as well. Yeah. I'm a little confused when you talk about the harmonics and like finding the spot with the harmonics. I know, like, I know, I'm always <laughs> using that term. Oh, I really it's really just know. a funny thing, yeah, it's a good question. When you, uh, when you're on somebody else's harp, like Susie's harp here, I don't read, but there's something about, I just know that if I go into it, I'm going to find it. If I just went up, I may or may not. And I don't know why, but it works. It's like, I guess you're hand-wishing, you're pushing in before you... Yes, oh, okay. yes. I guess, thank you. You probably helped me explain <laughs> what it is I'm doing, you know. Because your lot of location does change based on, like, which... Uh, yeah. On harmonics? Oh, sure it does. Oh, absolutely. If you're in, and that thing with that John Tavner, it was like this. One was you know, flat, sharp, flat, and I was trying to, you know, going along like this kind of thing. But it just gave me that added advantage in going in, you know, where, that, see now there I missed one. Good. I'm glad I missed one, right? But where, where is it? But it just somehow going into the string, that's a good one, he's a good one. Some, on some harps, I mean, my harp's uneven. Some harps, I have about two or three strings that it's just almost impossible to get a good harmonic. And I sit there and go, come on, Heidi, you can do this, you know. And it's really frustrating. It's my own harp. You know, it's like I can't seem to get a good B-flat harmonic. But, um, but for the most part, you know, it's just something about... And also, I like the idea, it takes away this, you know, that, that pluck sound when people play harmonics. And they're like, gosh, harmonics should be like bells. They're bells. They're beautiful. And they should look it as well. And one just, bing. You know, again, we're listening, we're watching, but it's it's um, the person who is watching the performer, the harpist. It, part of that, that they're taking in the sound of that harmonic is registering as to whether what kind of um, what am I trying to say? What kind of energy? You know, if I'm doing very harsh with my harshly with my mannerisms, gives a different message than if I'm matching the music to what my gestures are, that they should line up. And I feel that that's really important with the harp, and I don't think nearly enough consideration has been given to that, of how very important that is. 